Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to do this video of my um, resin bowl, and um, this will be the first part of two. I'll take it out later this evening and shape it into a bowl, but um, I'm going to try and narrate what I do and send you a picture of the products I used so that everybody will know um, exactly all the questions I had from the last time that I didn't narrate. So here we go. Um, this is a mold and shape mold that I'm using, and um, let's resin alcohol ink and um, magic resin resin so I've let my this is the resin I've let it um, sit for about 22 minutes or so and um, this mold takes about six ounces of resin and I don't want to fill it full because I want it to um, go on kitty get 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 um, I don't want the mold to be full, full. so um, it takes about eight ounces and I use about six for the bowl. So get all the corners mixed in. I don't use a thermometer to test my resin. I just like to do the, <clears throat> see what the feel of it is. And when it starts to feel warm through my glove, then typically it's ready. So just take your torch, you're gonna to blow out all the bubbles. You'll end up doing this a couple of times or however long to get the bubbles out. And then I take a small amount in, um, this is one of these little paper cups. This is gonna be my white that I use for the petaling. Um, this is Let's Resin White Paste. So all I do is take a little toothpick get a bit of resin on the end of it. It doesn't take very much, so you see it's just an itty bit and a small amount of resin. Mix it in so it pulls it off the toothpick. And you want it to be a little bit transparent because when you're white, if it gets too heavy, then that's when it sinks and makes blotches, or in my experience anyway. So take and stir that up. I'm just gonna let this sit until I put it into the little baggie. But it's a little transparent, which is what I want. I don't want it to be completely opaque. It makes it too heavy if you use too much. So you can see some of the bubbles coming up. So I'm just gonna do this again before I drop my alcohol inks in here. You gotta be careful with your molds. You gotta move it around really fast because you don't wanna burn your mold. All right, I'm gonna start in the middle. This is just a yellow. And then go around kind of in a pattern until So I've got reds, magentas, purple, and the yellow. No science, just drop them in. put these around again. I like this color. And they tend to fall to the middle, so um, just keep going until you're happy with how much you have in there. I like that red. Okay. And this one, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna swirl these around. I need a little more purple. Okay. 
This is just a little silicone stick. I'm just going to take and swirl these colors. And the white that I mixed up, I'm going to put in just a zip lock little sandwich baggie. Same as a frosting bag, a piping bag, but cheaper. So just squeeze it all to the corner. I'm going to squeeze the air out, zip it up, cut the corner off. You want to be careful not to cut a corner too big because then it's going to blob. So just a small Mine might have been too big. All right, it's a little big. I just did what I said not to do, and I made too big of a thing, but we're going to work with it anyway. All right, and I just go very quick in a spiral fashion. All the way to the edge. I'll just do a quick into the middle. I'll try not to let it blob. I'm going to take my. Now be careful with this because you've got alcohol on there, so chances are it will catch fire. So go really fast, get those last bubbles out. And then I'm going to take my little silicone stick. Go from the outside in. I've had too much coffee, so I'm shaking. And then I like to go out to this other one. Let's do a little swirl. And then I need to take this little hair out. One last torch. And there it is until, to, until uh, later this evening. Then I will pull it out and show you that video um, of the reveal. And that is it.